Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having yourself a great day. I am having a fantastic day today. Um, I'm actually looking forward to going on vacation, a very long-waited and needed vacation. Um, unfortunately, we've had so many uh, damn issues with this house we live in that uh, I need a break and need to get away. So uh, we're actually going on a Disney cruise and it is the Disney Wish. And uh, we've had that book for quite some time now, and so I've been eager to uh, go on it. It will be my, my wife and I's first cruise we've ever been on, and we figured we might as well start with a Disney one. Um, since we haven't got to Disney in a little bit, it's the closest next thing to, to do so. Um, we will be stopping down at Downtown Disney. Well, I still call it Downtown Disney. It's Disney Springs. Um, but uh, I'm old school. I've been at Disney from, Jesus, I started going to Disney when I was five years old. Um, but uh, it didn't go for a bit, and then I met my wife, and she loved Disney also, so that's where we actually spent our honeymoon. We went there for two weeks, and uh, a lot has changed since then, uh, not always for the better, but uh, I still love Disney. Um, but uh, we are, first, before we go on the cruise, we are going on to Orlando's, uh, the Orlando Informer. Um, they are renting out Universal Studios. Uh, they do it usually every year. They've done it for the last few years. And uh, basically, they rent out the park, so there's a lot less people there. And uh, you can go on the majority of the rides, and the food and drinks is free, all you can eat. Um, alcoholic beverages you have to pay for. Um, I don't drink alcohol, so you'll never see me doing that in videos. Um, I'm just a boring water person, so that's all I like. I mostly drink uh, juice and stuff occasionally, but uh, mostly just water. That's why I'm so healthy. Ha ha ha. Um, if you know my, my health issues. But uh, uh, just not my thing. My stomach does not like alcohol. Um, so I will be going to that, and I will be doing a video at the Orlando Informer, so uh, make sure to check back for that one. And then I'll also have videos on the Disney Wish that I'll be doing. Um, just giving you an idea of my impressions for the first time going on a cruise and, uh, you know, things you got to learn as you go along. I've watched some other videos, but um, I, I just really look forward to going, uh, getting away with my wife and going there. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a brand new Stitch toy. Actually, it's the Stitch plush collectible animatronic figure. Um, when I first saw it, I'm like, I was blown away. And then until I kind of realized that it's not all on its own, it, it appears in the videos that he's kind of just standing and talking on his own and stuff. But that's not actually how it works. And I'll show you that in the, shortly. Um, I would put it off buying it. I'm just like, mm, I don't like it so much uh, now. But then uh, I saw it kept being sold out and I'm like, well, I guess I better get one and, and you know, do a review and, and see what I think about it and add it to the collection. Uh, it, it is kind of cute, but also kind of creepy at the same time. Um, but I, I really like it uh, now that I've, I've had it sitting around for a little bit and my son Jordan just keeps bugging me to open it. So I'm finally doing that today. Actually, my wife and my son Jordan went to uh, Knoebels today. Um, like I said, I don't really like roller coaster rides and stuff, and so they're doing that by themselves. And uh, so it gives me time to do this video. And uh, I'm trying to do a bunch before I go away on vacation. Um, but this Stitch Plush is uh, actually made um, by Real FX Disney Stitch Puppet. And uh, when I was looking up more information about this, I found out that the U.S. headquarters for this company is actually Jim Henson Studios, which kind of makes sense since it is a puppet and it's a very, I would say by looking at it, pretty well designed. Um, he has some type of sensors or cameras in his nose. Um, you can see them in the nostrils. And uh, there's a bunch of, it's supposed to have 100 plus sounds and actions and talking but he doesn't talk that much from the videos i've seen it's mostly just the oh, blah, 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 sounds <laughs> and uh thanks for watching uh, yeah um, that's more like elmo actually i think <laughs> but uh it's the first edition i'm not sure if there's going to be additional ones um it would be kind of interesting if they made some other disney ones but uh it is from studio wow stuff and uh, I originally saw it on Smith Toys or Smythe. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. That's a, it's a UK company. Um, it's like one of their major toy stores. And there it's st selling for $69.99. Uh, that's euros. 
And then uh, I was able to find it on Amazon, and I think it was $79. Um, and it was sold out, sold out, and then I looked in the evening, and I found it, and I ordered very quickly. And within, I don't think, 30 minutes from then, I checked back, and it was sold out. And it's been sold out ever since. Um, you might just want to keep checking because they're charging way too much as always on eBay. Um, I, that's my very last. I look there often, but it's usually my last resort. Um, I do a lot of research when I, before I buy anything um, just to get the best price and make sure it's a good company and such. But uh, as you can see on the back, um, it has the same theming as a lot of Stitch products. Um, it's a, kind of like the, a particular era of design, just like SpongeBob has its... Um, different color patterns and designs uh, for the different years um, but this is on most of the stuff I've purchased if you've seen my past videos um, he does have other functions you can put your hand in front of his nose or and you can pet him he does different things his ears will go up and down I think it also kind of learns um, by your different things that you do with him and uh, it's super cute. It's a little interesting on trying to get it out. Uh, I'll probably, um, I'll, I, I guess I'll do that on video, but it'll probably be an overhead um, just so you can see closer. But um, it has a bunch of plastic screws that you have to remove and then try to get him out of here. So uh, hopefully it's not too crazy. But uh, yeah, I think he's cute. It's just, it's a little weird uh, kind of at first when I was looking at it. I'm like, I'm not sure if I want that. Um, I believe it's from 2002. There is another animatronic um, talking stitch plush, uh, which is kind of more tech than this one, which is odd. Um, it actually, uh, you can ask questions and it'll answer your questions, like tell me a joke or something like that, and he'll respond. Um, I, I would like to try to get my hands on that at some point. It looks pretty cool. Um, I wasn't into collecting that much, at least Disney stuff back then, so I, I didn't get that one. But uh, I try to grab anything I can that um, is cool that I think you might be interested in. And uh, before I move on, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It uh, really helps my channel out. And uh, we're starting to grow pretty good at the moment. Uh, actually, it's been really good. Uh, and uh, I enjoy talking with you all. I've found that a lot of people who watch my channel are from all around the world, so hello to you. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Um, it's funny because when I first post them, they're a little slow at first, and then they pick up afterwards. Um, and I understand that people have a life and got things to do, but I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, it, it really means a lot to me. I'm not just saying that. I'm not a person who BSs anyone. Um, I'm very honest about everything I say and do. So let's go ahead and uh, get this out of the box. On the back side, there are two screws that you have to take out. I used a quarter to take them out, and then there's one additional one on the front and also some tape uh, that you can take off. Uh, I tried to preserve it so I could put him back in the box at some point. On the back, there are two pieces of plastic that protrude through the bottom of the case, and uh, you just need to bend the corners, and then you basically slide the uh, plastic that uh, surrounds him, just slides off, and then you uh, go on to the next step of removing the screws from the back of him. And here on the back are the pins. You just turn them to the right and then pull them out and then that releases him so you can take him out of the packaging. Alrighty, after a slight struggle, I finally got him out of the packaging. And uh, it comes with uh, the first edition certificate of authenticity, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I was trying to see if it said anything to do with Jim Henson on here, but it actually doesn't. But when you, like I said, when you go to their website and look it up, it does have, uh, let's see, Real Pet Stitch Puppet being one of the first production run to enter the market from 26th of June, International Stitch Day. Oh, so he was released on 626. So that's cool. It took me a few days to actually find him uh, online. I just happened to see someone else doing it. Um, but there's that, and then it also comes with instructions that, you know, of course, I'm a guy, we don't read those. Um, so, but yeah, here's the gist of his head. Um, 
I'll show you before I put the batteries in. Whoops, I wanted to show you something. Um, there are several buttons on the inside. Actually, there's two main ones you can see here with the division. And the uh, one on the left moves his ears up and down. It's kind of hard to do with, without making the mouth move um, just because your finger is in the bottom one. So when you're trying to push down, it closes the mouth also. I mean, you can kind of, but it's difficult to do. Um, and then the one on the other side, on the, on the right side, if you're looking down uh, on this way, um, is his eyes. So you can make him like, fall asleep and get sleepy. And he wakes up and then terrorizes you in your dreams. Um, no. um, so those are the two main functions, uh, the left and the right. And then um, obviously the bottom is where you put your thumb in to which then moves the mouth up and down so you can do that hey how you doing oh how you doing um so there there is a string on here that will probably cut off that's kind of just pointless um you can't um put your hands in with any of his hands at all they just kind of hang there um but as you can see there are two sensors in the nose or um that either pick up, uh, you know, movement or whatever. And then uh, it's a very soft material, just like a regular plush. Um, his teeth are, actually his teeth, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that. That's probably what triggers. So when his mouth closes, it triggers the, the sensor inside to say something. Um, but yeah, the teeth move up and down, just the, just the top ones. And then his tongue also moves, so that's another sensor. So if you were to put your hand in here, um, that would trigger the sensor for him to say something. Um, but uh, it's a little, if you're moving your hand around a lot, well, I have a connective tissue disorder, so my arms get <laughs> sore easier. But um, if you've got a, a real big hand, it's going to be hard to get in there. Um, I'm probably... I'm pretty sure this is probably mostly meant for kids, but uh, you know me, I'm a big grown-up kid. Um, I'm a Toys R Us kid, I'm never gonna grow up. Um, but uh, yeah, then you can kind of close this up when your hand's in there, I guess, so you don't see it as much. Um, and then uh, do the little motions. I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in, and to do so, you have to go up here, and then there is the on-off button. Um, it was actually in the on position when I got it, but uh, I'm assuming it needs batteries and doesn't actually have them. Uh, I didn't read it because, like I said, you know, who reads who reads directions? Um, probably mostly women, <laughs> and that's why they live longer than us. Um, and it doesn't come with a screwdriver. I just happen to have one. Is that? Oh, come on! I had taken. Of course, I went and got double A's, and it's triple. So uh, I gotta go get that. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back. I got triple A batteries, which if you ever need batteries, Amazon actually sells their own batteries. And for the most part, I think they last just as long as any other battery. Um, but we'll go ahead and put these triple A's in here. And get freaked out when he comes on put that back in there Doo -doo -doo. all right here goes nothing oh get my hand in here so exactly so <laughs> when he first comes on, he wakes up with a wake up sound and uh, pretty much I think any action that's going to cause the to tooth to be pushed. I'm really hoping he uh, does more than that, but I think it's mostly just majority of it is just sounds. And then I believe... Um, Although he's, yeah, um, I'm guessing there's some type of sensor in there that when you pet his head, 
like a puppy <laughs> or a cat something more like my cat so when you pet him that detects your uh, movement on it and uh i don't i'm not 100 percent certain oh, okay so he senses something is in front so he's gonna smell it and uh Let's see, the eyes don't trigger any um, audio. I'm assuming because the camera is kind of close to this, it's detecting something that smells. But yeah, the, uh, the eyes don't usually... You, you, you give me a second to talk, Stitch. <laughs> Let me see if it actually. Okay. Ugh, that gives you nightmares. Um, so also, sounds like it just says the same thing every single time you touch his tongue. Well, that's kind of weird. So, this is the one downside I had about this thing, this stitch that is. He doesn't. Um, talk much at all it's mostly just baby gibberish sounds um they're kind of cute but um i rather you know that he actually spoke more words um because he speaks more in the movie he's not just always making random sounds but uh yeah basically <laughs> he's just gonna ramble on a bunch of nonsense yeah, but if you watch the videos, a lot of videos, you just see him like standing somewhere and it looks like he's just staying there on his own doing stuff, but it's all puppetry, um, which is the illusion of something being alive anyways. But um, yeah, the eyes themselves don't don't do much. It's that left, uh, the left, left trigger that causes his talking when the ears move. And then when you get your hand out, God, it's killing my wrist. Um when you pet there's sensors that recognize that someone's touching the top so he will make those sounds um the craftsmanship is very nice it's it's stitched very well haha <laughs> stitched um and then there's the disney tag inside there's always got to be a disney tag i do like that at least it's in the inside so you don't see it hanging off and have to cut it off or anything um but yeah that's uh He's, he's cute. I like it. Um, I kind of wish, like I said, that he spoke more um, than just the baby gibberish sounds. Um, sorry, Stitch. You know I love you. But, uh, yeah, any time that this is touched, it's going to trigger trigger sounds. God, my wrist is killing me now. Um, but, yeah, you can pet him. Um, I don't think any other parts. His belly doesn't do anything. There's no sensors on the hands or the feet. So everything is pretty much all, <laughs> all in the head. Um, when you get close to the nose, it's going to sniff. Um, and uh, the movement, there is uh, little pieces of plastic that run inside the ear that help uh, control it. The joint is in here, you can feel. Um, but the craftsmanship definitely cute, really good, and he has this little fur that he has in the movies. Um, I'm gonna probably cut this off. You can do so easily with the thing right there. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Um, I want to try to make sure sure I get both sides. Um, of course, that other one is hidden. Oh no, it's on the outside. I was worried it was gonna be. You know, when you buy clothes sometimes, and these tags are in the inside, and you never can get them out. That one you can remove. So, there's the close up of everything. Uh, it's very nicely made. The nose has a texture kind of like a dog. I don't know if you can see that. See, it's kind of got the little patterns that a dog nose has. It's a little scuffed up, but, and then, like I said, these are the sensors for the sniffing. And then you can pet him on his head. And then this can close up probably fairly well so you can hide the fact that your hand is in there. 
And uh, there's a decent amount of room. If you have a real big hand, you're going to have problems um, getting it in there. Um, I have kind of small hands. Um, so. Exactly. So. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit more of it uh, further away than I don't want to, you know, be up so close that you can actually see a little bit more I'll share with you. Um, but for the gist of it, um, I'm assuming every time you turn him off, he's going to wake up sound. Let me try. Let's see here. Now that I've covered it up, I can't get to it. All right, we'll turn it off. Wouldn't it be creepy as hell if you turn it off and he keeps talking? Um, oh, he says aloha, and he wakes up this time. No, that's, that's why I wish he spoke more. All right, let's see what, let's try another time. Okay, so it's going to just say aloha every time he wakes up. He needs to talk more. It would be cool if someone made one like this and that you could update. So, you know, they could add sounds to it. Maybe someone will do that down the road, but that would be something cool that you could do through Wi-Fi that you could actually, um, you know, get updates with new sounds. Or you could even, you know, type in something yourself and what you want them to say, and it would say it. That would be incredible. Um, and I really don't think it would be that much more of advanced technology that you would need to do that. Yeah, it might be a little bit more pricier than what you pay for this, but uh, I think that would be well worth it. And it's really a great idea for the future um, to do something like that. Just my thoughts, company, if you happen to hear me, uh, wow stuff. Um, that would be my suggestion for a cool idea. Um, and honestly, I, like I said, I really don't think it would be that difficult to uh, create something like that, that you could uh, do updating in voices and such. Alrighty, so here I'm going to just show you uh, a little bit further away from the camera so you can get an idea. Um, if you just let him sit for a while, he will um, continue to say a few phrases, or not phrases so much as sounds, uh, like that. And then uh, I'm assuming it probably just shuts itself down. Um, I haven't let it go for a long time yet, but I, I'm assuming so. But uh, like I said, you really can't do much um, with the hands. They just kind of hang there. I guess he's bored from not doing anything or you controlling anything. Um, but uh, he has a cute little tail um, there, as you can see. He's got his little toenails. Um, they are just like felt pieces. Um, it kind of would have been cool. I know more expensive, but uh, maybe plastic toes um, would have been a cool addition to it. Um, since they've already used uh, plastic on the teeth, I don't see why they couldn't just figure a way to put uh, the fingers and such in there. Um, but as he gets bored when you're not using him, that's what he does. Um, but you can basically, um, and like I said, you can do the left, sorry, the right is the eyes. And then, Sounds like the Joker laugh. Um, unfortunately, as soon as you move the mouth, he's going to talk whether you push the buttons or not. Um, that's kind of annoying because then you can't just... I get it. He's supposed to be talking when you move, but I, I don't know. It's... Uh, it's all right it's a little annoying um <laughs> sorry but it is but uh he, he agrees um Ooh. hey i brushed my teeth this morning don't be dissing me um <laughs> he's very cute i mean i'm i'm sure it's mostly more for a kid um which i am uh, i'm a grown-up kid and uh he has uh yeah I, I'm just trying to... What are you looking at me like that for? Um, so, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, either way, it's a great addition to, uh, you know, a Disney collection. Just alone looking at him, it is cute. 
I mean, you can always, um, if you wanted to just turn it off and go, Hey, how are you? I'm doing fun today. Something like that, but uh, in a better voice than mine. Uh, I'm used to doing the Elmo voice, not the Stitch, although it's pretty close. But uh, yeah, so you can on your own just do a little thing. You can talk that way. Have them like, huh? It's it's cute. I like it. Um, but I think I'll probably just put him back in the box, and then um, just have it uh, on display. Yeah, I'll maybe let you out. Actually, I'm trying to get, uh, we're going, as I mentioned, going to uh, downtown Disney. Um, I still call it that. It's Disney Springs, but I, I that's burned in my head, just like uh, MGM Studios or Hollywood Studios now. But um, we're actually trying to get a breakfast at Ohana's, um, just because I absolutely love the bread that it's there. And I uh, haven't been a while. I'm not sure if we're going to get that, but uh, I do look forward to the... Um, uh, yeah, my brain's a million places. I'm looking forward to going on my vacation and going to the Disney Cruise and also the um, Universal event by um, Orlando Informer. So, yeah, that's it, I think. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and like the video. I greatly appreciate it. He's a southerner now. I greatly appreciate if you would go and follow my channel. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, actually, I'd like to wish you a magical day. That's what I usually say. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to the loony bin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>